Simon, please do not tap. Good advice, guys. I took it willingly. Hello! While everyone else is out clubbing and partying, waiting to get laid and socialising, we're going to scan Radioactive Island with my new Geiger counter. Yay! It's currently 12.53, so there shouldn't be too many other people around to interrupt our needs. And we're doing it reasonably cov covertly, so we don't attract like police deten attention, because I really don't want to get arrested and go through that kerfuffle. Bye! And so, we're almost at Radioactive Island. And this is the view ahead of me, I thought I'd give it to you. If you can guess where I am, awesome. So... You know what, this reminds me of when I took my oscilloscope through Canterbury. All the strange looks I got. It was quite hilarious. And funny. But anyway, we must proceed and discover whether there is anything detectable on the surface. Hello and welcome back. Now we have our super Cree LED torch and we're descending into the dark. We are entering, we have entered Radioactive Island. And there's a nice boat. There you go, you can see it now. Is that stuck? Ah, oh, that looks new. That wasn't there before. I've done a few new installations, I've noticed. It's actually not that cold, considering it's the middle of winter. I've got my coat open, because I can't do it up over the Geiger counter. And all that happy jazz. Oh, I'm not time that's all right then. There isn't much lighting on. First we're gonna check check the deep dark creepy field. I've got the extendy pole. We're not picking anything up walking along here. Which frankly doesn't surprise me. In fact there were some points I actually uh, went around here with my little small one and literally detected nothing. The tide is high. all that good jazz and as you can see we've got quite some range with our Cree I don't know how well the camera will pick it up yeah it can see it and then you widen the beam for close up like walking down the path surveying an area at night as we are about to do danger drop behind wall no shit Sherlock I couldn't have worked that out on my own Ah, you gotta love Captain Obvious. What would we do without him? And there's site safety because this is technically a building site, but it's piss easy to get on to. Technically a building site, but they're not doing anything on it. Ah, uh, that's just bushes. It's a great thing. It's like, what's that in the distance? Zoom in the bulb. Oh, I said a bulb, it's actually an LED. Gotta be technically correct. Oh god, I'm eating into valuable time. I have to go because I don't have much record time on the camera. Well, the only radioactive thing I've found so far is granite. Which is not particularly that highly radioactive in the first place, but it's nice to get confirmation that it picks up granite. Although this is a very, fairly large chunk of it, as you can see. Uh, and it started to rain, so I might have to ditch these efforts just to stop the camera and that getting wet and getting wet. Wet is not pleasant. Sodding bloody British weather. Urgh. It annoys me, it does. It ruins activities like this. Right, let's move on and see if we can find anything that else. That water going into blackness scares me, and yet I'm still compelled to look into it. This has no current, so if I fell in, I could get out. Fair amount of human activity around for this time of night. Bearing in mind it's post 12 o'clock. It's probably about 1 now. We're going to take a few look at other few areas I want to check out and then head back because it's piddling threatening rain. As we pass another body of deep dark scary water, these are old dry docks. Doubt the pumping equipment is even still installed these days. Now bearing in mind uh, Radioactive Island is a resident residential area. There are actually CCTV cameras on site, which aren't private. 
Now while I'm not anti-security camera, because actually they do have a genuine purpose in solving crime, I do feel that sticking them on a private neighbourhood where people live is an invasion of privacy. They're mostly in the private park spaces, but still, it's not something I personally really agree with, unless residents actually install them on their own houses, then there's no problem. But you know, would I really want the council watching me every time I walk the dog? You know, I don't agree with sticking security cameras in private residential estates unless you personally install them on your house, which is something I would actually go and do. But yeah, little, little, uh, I don't, it's not really a rant, little like, opinion moment over. Unsurprisingly, the camera doesn't show this very well. But we're not really getting any higher background radiation than we do back at the uni or anywhere else I've been with this thing. A little disappointing, I at least expected it to be a little bit higher. The camera's not very good at picking up glow in the dark stuff. Can just about do it though. But yeah. Nothing significant found so far, apart from blocks of granite, but granite is naturally radioactive. Right, the rain volume is increasing. And yeah, even in some of the spots where I uh, all picked some slightly higher levels up in with one of my other units, the thing is, is it's really no higher than the background in my uni. The only possible detector that might be able to detect something would be a centralizer probe, which is basically a photomultiplier tube with a very specialist what's called a centralization crystal that when gamma rays hit it, it emits a small amount of light and those things are ridiculously sensitive. They make the background radiation look like a bloody nuclear fallout. But yeah, in conclusion, the people who did the clean-up on Radioactive Island did a smashing job. It's sort of amusing there's background, there's high levels of radiation buried below my feet and yet I can't pick anything up. It doesn't mean that the contamination won't remain, it just means you're not going to detect it with a standard Geiger counter equipment and you're going to need something a little more advanced. There's a taxi. There's plenty of roads. Let's go home. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is quite a fun little excursion into a bit of science, sort of.